Welcome to this QuickBooks tutorial on how to record personal expenses paid with business funds in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. So this is going to be a situation where uh, either you as the owner of the business or the owner of the business has uh, used business money and paid their personal expenses. Okay, so these are clearly personal expenses and they've just used the business money and it could be a credit card it could be the checking account uh, any of the above now first things first i must tell you that i do not recommend using business money to pay personal uh, expenses now th the reason if it's not obvious is that you are commingling your funds at that point and you are using the business money to pay personal expenses now that's not only looked looked at uh badly by the irs but you know that's also and again i'm not an attorney but from a legal standpoint of commingling funds uh, business funds to pay personal expenses is just not a good idea especially if you run into some kind of legal trouble and um, they see that you've been using the business money to pay your personal expenses just not a good thing okay all right, but let's talk about it because this does happen and you do need to record this. So it's going to happen occasionally. Uh, if it does happen frequently, you want to make sure that you just stop doing that and, and just make a distribution, uh, cut a distribution check to yourself, put it in your personal account and then pay your personal expenses through your personal account. Okay. All right. So when this does happen, I want to go through a couple things. So there's two ways generally that that uh, people are going to record this. And what I want to do, I want to go over to the chart of accounts. I want to show you here because we may set up a couple accounts. All right. So we have, let me bring this over a little bit. We have the, our chart of accounts. Uh, so there's two ways people do this. One is they're going to show a uh, a loan to the owner of the business. All right. Now that is going to be an asset on the company's books. And basically what that means is that the owner owes this money back to the company. So the company paid the money on behalf of the owner and now the owner has to pay back the company. All right, that's that's number one. Uh, the second way is just run it through equity. Okay, so shareholder distributions, uh, you're just gonna say, okay, the company paid this grocery you know, run uh, on behalf of the owner, and we're just going to put it to shareholder distributions. All right. Now, I want to tell you, um, I personally am not a big fan of running it through an asset account as a loan to the owner, uh, because 99.9% .9 of the time, the owner is not going to pay that money back. All right. And if it's not set up as a, an actual loan to the owner, uh, then it, it, you know, it really shouldn't be put as a loan. So what I like to do is I like to run everything through shareholder distributions. Okay, so let me show you a couple examples here. And I'm gonna go ahead and let me set up, I don't see any other asset or anything on here for loan to owner. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say new. I'll go ahead and set this up just to show you, okay? Other account types, I'm usually gonna put uh, other current liability, okay? Let's see, I'm going to skip the number for now. Loan to shareholder, let's say, or owner, whatever you want to call that. And I'm going to hit save and close. Okay, so now we have this loan to shareholder. Okay, okay. And there was my first mistake because I set this up as another current liability. So let me edit that. Uh, this is going to be uh, an other current asset. Okay because that's money that the shareholder owes to the business. Okay, so let's say that you are entering uh, transactions into the check register, or it could be through a bank feed or anything like that. So we're gonna go to here to the checking account and you've got to enter a transaction. Okay, so we say this was a debit card transaction and you paid it to uh, a grocery store. We'll say Kroger. Okay, we're gonna say quick add uh, as a vendor. We'll say okay. Okay, so right here, you can um, put this as a loan to the owner, to the shareholder. So if I find my other current asset, you can put that there, loan to shareholder. And when you put it in here, it's gonna increase that balance. But again, 
That's not my preferred way. I like to run it through equity, which is going to be a shareholder distribution. All right. Now, sometimes you're going to run into the situation where, you know, maybe they went to uh, the grocery store and they did buy things for the office and they bought some personal things. Okay. So what do you do in that situation? So in that situation, what we're going to do, we're going to split the transaction. Okay. So we say Kroger shareholder distributions. We're going to say that this total was $200. We'll make it an even amount. And we're going to say, let me make this a little bit bigger here. So we've got shareholder distributions. We'll say we're, let's say 150. Okay. And then the other amount is going to be office supplies 50. Okay. So you can split those between uh, part for the owner, part for the business. All right, so we're going to hit record. Okay, so what this is going to do is this just is just going to run it through. I want to show you on the balance sheet here. Uh, it's not going to record the expense, at least for the personal portion on the profit and loss. It's going to put it into shareholder distributions. So you can see here Kroger, 150 bucks, and they had a couple other personal expenses here: Chuck E. Cheese, Costco, Amazon. All right, and those were credit card charges. Okay. So again, the important thing to remember here is that, you know, you can, you, you do need to separate out these personal versus business expenses and make sure that you, you know, I, I highly advise you do not run personal expenses through the business checking or the business credit card. It's just, don't get into that habit. It can create a mess and it can create some problems down the road with the IRS and potentially legally. Okay. Again. I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving uh, attorney advice, but you got to watch out for that kind of stuff. So you do want to make sure because it is going to happen occasionally and you are going to, you know, there are going to be some personal expenses that somehow sneak in there. Uh, it happens. And so when you do record those, uh, you got two ways to do it. You can do the loan to the owner uh, as an asset, uh, or you can do equity. My preferred way is equity. Uh, because that's really not a loan to the owner. There's no loan document. It's probably not going to be paid back. And so uh, I prefer to run it through equity. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment, question below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University uh, where, you know, becoming a member really has uh, its privileges, okay, to steal a line from American Express, uh, answer all your personal questions, help you get your QuickBooks up and running. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.